How much power do you need? How long do you need to be flying? So that you can have as little battery as possible to get you that distance and to get you the performance that you need to make it there as quickly as possible. There's the potential for these to have massive batteries and have long flight time, but you're not gonna get the same performance versus having short flight times and very high performance. Way more exciting of a race to watch for sure. The other thing that I'm doing is redesigning the battery. So this new battery should have 95% increase in available capacity with only a 50% increase in weight. So the new system is slide and lock. Basically the connections are part of the system. You slide the battery in, it locks in to the frame. This is what we're aiming towards to be able to have it quick in, quick out. So it means we've got quick pit stops. Somebody can come in, unload a battery, load another battery. You're back out flying. Uh, racing, getting in there. Uh, you'd actually have different designs of batteries depending on what kind of section of race you're looking at. If you're looking at something where you've got a bunch of dynamic high performance moves but it's really short, you want a small battery in there just to get you through that section. Keeps your vehicle light, keeps you agile. Similar to Formula One where it's not just a race. There's, there's other systems, there's other things involved. It's not just about how fast you can fly.